Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Marathon. This is episode 10. Wow. That is a haul, man. Um, yeah. Uh, originally I planned for the game to run exactly this long. Um, and then it didn't. Like, I was like, oh, it's definitely going to go longer than I have allotted for it. Because I only had, like, room for ten episodes planned out. Um, symbol enter I task is not marked as weak, but its library IO task is. Symbol kill I task is not marked as weak, but its library IO task is. New task. Status. Idle. And exit. The colony has just been wiped out. <laughs> just like that. Dot HPE. 69 in there. The four slavers, their trading empire rose to prominence soon after Earth over 300 years ago. The four make extensive use of subservient client races for manual labor at home and as soldiers abroad. Most of their slaves are taken from low technology worlds, often by the hundreds. Uh, blah, blah. Hairless, light skinned bipeds, nearly two meters in height, with three red eyes arranged in a triangular pattern. Thousands at a time, unusually for sale to high technology races. Though certain client races are often employed as soldiers, the four have no reluctance to fight. Finish the battle. Okay. I'm trying to remember that ammo closet full of goodies. What the? Okay. Okay. That's new. Jesus. Oh, man. So this is uh, semi-funny. I mentioned that uh, this game has a lot of, like, non-binary fans, for whatever reason. And, like, nothing wrong with that. I'm glad that a lot of non-binary people like this game. But, um... I like this game too, and I don't know if I'm not binary or not. But I just learned that one of my favorite authors, Grant Morrison, uh, they came out as non binary very recently, at the end of uh, 2020. Oh, yeah, these guys dropped that cool purple gun. Oh man, enemies everywhere. Oh, but apparently not now. Oh, they're weird. I don't like them. Please let me in. Thank you. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to kill that thing, huh? Oh, those home, huh? Fair. Oh, I ran into lava. Whoops! Alright, let's puzzle this out. Anyway, I, like, I've been unsure on whether or not I'm not there for a while. But, uh, things that I like often have a large non binary uh, fan base. Or I happen to like a lot of authors who later then come out as non binary. Oh, that was bad. All right. Uh, let's kill that schmuck. Let's go back and save. Okay. Let's take a look at the map, actually. Try again, huh? Like, as in, if at first you don't succeed? Again, the music is still so dreamlike and ethereal and ephemeral. I know that those words sound similar, but they have different meanings, and I intend to use both of them fully. I have the good fortune to have access to a... What the... F a banquet of words, and I enjoy using all of them. Run away. Run away. There you go. 
All right, we've done some damage. Blue to the microphone, apology. these it looks like there's no health anywhere so that's fun how about you shoot at each other huh hey they're doing it actually I interrupted their fun I'm sorry guys Uh, the rocket launcher is fairly cumbersome to use. Something that would actually stay consistent in Halo. Because, like, the Doom rocket launcher, you're just, like, vomiting rockets, like, everywhere. Like, the Doom guy's capacity to use rockets is unparalleled. Like, you hold, like, what is it? It's, like, 100 or, like, maybe just 50 without a backpack? Like, you hold, like, a 50 or 100 rockets. And you can, like, machine gun them. Like, you can fire them very fast. You would almost expect them to play on, like, NES rules. Like, you can only have one projectile on screen. Uh, recently watching a lot of Mega Man with a wife. And, like, it's, uh, you would imagine it to be, like, how you can only have three projectiles on the screen in a, in a classic test game. And that's if you're lucky. Okay. Fill back up. Save the game. Grab the good gun. Sir? All right. Yeah, no, like... What the hell? Okay, so it's definitely a thing in-game. That scared... That kind of scared me. Okay, so is it when I get targeted by the rockets? Could be it. go did you just get too low that's honestly what looked like happened he like sank into lava oh man this is creepy okay so my theories earlier were correct there in fact are two of them They're so weird. They're like big, hateful blimps. Like, I'm a Morrowind fan. I love big sacks of air. Oh, so that's what it means. Yeah, they get all gooey and then they start going down. Okay, that makes sense then. The sound was so weird I thought like an Amber Alert started going off in my headphones. Alright, um, as it happens, this might actually end up being the last episode of Marathon, though. I wrote some extra, like, space into the thing, and then I actually moved some episodes around. Because what I had planned for was, I had planned for 9 and 10 to go up one after another. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. I'm over here now. Yeah, I had planned for 9 and 10 to go up one after another, so you could, like, so you wouldn't have to wait. Jeez, there's a lot of them. 
I've never seen anyone talk about these guys. It's kind of what makes them so strange. I feel like I'm discovering like a creepypaster. Things that man was not meant to know. Do another loop. I gotta get a pop filter, man. I've got the fuzzy stuff on the outside of my mic, but, you know, it could be better. I don't remember what those things are for. Are they... this thing? No. Okay. I won't bother saving because I only picked one of those things up and I don't know what they do. Maybe that's what the Oxfordette ammo is. Probably just stand on it. I'm just trying to like pussyfoot around the lava. Who put all this lava here, by the way? What's that doing for everyone? Is that serving a purpose? Big room. Got that. This leads to more lava. And then goes nowhere. Oh. Shh. Sorry, everyone. I was really spraying and praying there. So where does this go? Okay, also back to the main room. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to run into fusion vent number nine. And make it... Why does it have, like, cheeks? can't, like, keep its own projectiles in the air for very long. It must be very heavy. Come on, play that awful klaxon that I love hearing. Like, I'm trying to direct hit him with this, and it's not working out for me. That hit. That definitely hit. Too hot. The way that it shoots you back makes me nervous as well. The rocket launcher, I mean. Right, I'm going to use this once more. Because it's not really worthwhile to me if it's not full. And then I'm going to stock back up again. And Sabe. Oh. Would you look at... Would you look at that? Thank goodness I came here. This allows me to play a little more brazenly. Alright. This puts me up here. It's classic. Like Joker's coming in the fork of the road. Actually, kind of wants you to get a little closer with the uh, Oxford Ed because of the spread. I probably already learned that in a previous episode, but you know what? It's probably. It's probably... Right, let's fill up. So somewhere on this map, in the up there's region, there is a there's a little door that you can see sticking out of the lava. Uh, game probably wants me to go there, but. Now that I'm here, this probably 
leads to it in a different way. Like, those things fill me with the same kind of dread that, like, seeing the cyber demon does. Like, oh shit. But, like, there's so much more common. Like, in Doom, there's only, like, two cyber demons. Like, there are very uncommon enemies. Did you both of those? Did you just squander them? That's irritating. I don't remember that happening. Okay. It'll be difficult to do with a projectile lead time, but this gun is uh, pretty serviceable when it comes to damage. I don't think I hit a single one. Let's save and then try the uh, Lorva. Glad I clicked on this door. I would have felt like a big ninny if I hadn't done that. Just a right old fanny. Yeah, here's the door. So it's. Hup. Oh, look at that. Nothing. Oh, that's what these are. Okay, what's the other rocket then? Mm hmm. Okay. Bastard. All right. Tightrope one run. I really gotta enunciate more. I legitimately almost just said tight rope one. Ooh. One's on your tight rope. Stun locking guys feels good with this thing. drop yet, because I don't know if I can get back up. Teleporter. Teleporter? Teleport! <laughs> Must defeat four. Core reformatting commencing. Four are breaching last... Let's finish them. You got it, dude. Okay. This just takes me back to here. Okay, cool. So I can go and come and go freely. Kind of gotta sneak it through here. Let right, me up. Ty. Thank you. Fresh gun. Let's go the other path. Blaze some new trails, you know. staircase that leads son of a bitch right back to here I suppose that uh, Budgie thinks that's funny do they oh well it's good to have a shortcut besides I needed the top off and the save is nice too and then we're just running until I believe we just gotta find there you are it's so wide that it soaks up a, a lot of the damage there you go 
<gasps> ah, that would be why they have the warning sound then. They can instantly kill you from full health. No matter what that health is. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, um... That makes a little more sense then. Finish him off. And then let's just run away. I'm getting to the point where, like, the game's difficulty curve has stopped going up, so I kind of know what to expect. Because we're getting into the final levels now. Um, and in addition to that... Addendum. I also have uh, a lot of the good weapons, so fighting isn't really a problem for me. Okay, so this leads to here. It's just a little cut through. Okay, okay. Where are we headed then? So this is this side of it. Let's try to use... Yeah, that's pistol ammo. So, uh, well, that's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping that those would all take me to exactly the same place. Because then I could reliably have one place that it takes me to and go there every time. Doesn't look like that's the case. What about this? These also take me strange new places. I was looking at the recording time and I was like, wow, we're only 20 minutes in and I'm feeling pretty competent about this level. Doesn't look like it's going to be a problem, though. Episode will still be full length. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. This game makes me uneasy. And I mean, maybe it always did that. Hello. Shit. So is this just a partial invisibility? Because Doom had done that. And I assume that, like, they wouldn't just do that for the sake of... Because, like, hey, Doom did it. That means that we have to have it in our game to be successful. So these all lead somewhere completely different. Oh, so this leads here. Okay. That's where I got the invisibility man. Oh, come on, get in there. Again, this is one of those things where I pause it like, would adding a simple functionality like jump ruin the difficulty of your game? And if it would, then maybe you're frustrating people for no reason. Shit. Oh, it's wearing off. Hope I didn't need that. Okay, so this takes me to here. Okay. Oh, I don't even need it. Cool. Okay, so this is where this leads. And it's also where this leads. Okay. So, where about this one? Well, I'm not going to survive. Oh, it just leads for God's sake. Going in circles. Going in big ol'... Code Veronica-esque circles. Oop, careful. I've yet to die, though, so that's neat. I don't think I've died the whole episode. Or, well, I'm recording this in uh, with the end of last episode as well. 
So let's take a look here. Try again. Is that a clue? Oh. This is purple on the map. What does this dignicate? What is that? I try to go for dignity, signify, and indicate at the same time. That was just a whole bunch of mistakes all in a row. Can't open this or this. just lead here as I already said and suspected. Fighting a losing battle there. So can I just run over here? I don't think I can. Like if I run and hope? This is gonna kill me but that's okay. Okay. Has this changed? No. Has this changed? Nope. I notice Finish the Battle's presence here is not dissimilar from a certain other trilogy by Bungie, wherein one must finish the fight. Though whereas the fight is... Like, the fight and the battle are both, like, things you do in relation to combat. The battle seems a little less final, because the fight could mean any conflict ever, whereas the battle is implicit in, like, it's not the war, you know? That's why we have that saying, you won the battle but lost the war. It's because, like, small victories will eventually add up to, uh, you know, good stuff, but you need a lot of them. Of course, won the, won the battle, lost the war is kind of pessimistic to say. And again, war is not exactly a summer home for optimists. Let's try the teleporter hallway again. I've not spent too much poking around in here. This leads... Oh! Uh huh. God damn it, I've been here. Again, this is what Bungo thinks is funny. Or so I imagine. Don't want to pause it because the less pausing I do, the less editing I do, and it makes a more cohesive video because there's no awkward jumps of like. All right, so I took a one month break. Like, I guess I could show you, but like, yeah, the the timing on my uh, recordings and like the, the save dates, the save games are literally one month apart. It's now the 17th of January to peel back that curtain. Okay, so, so that one led to the fuck you spot. This one led to back to where I had already been. There's got to be something simple that I'm overlooking. There always is. All right, and we're back. Um, I ran around killing things for a little bit. Um, I had missed a big blimpman. Oh, perfect. I should be more lucid now and apologize for my earlier rambling. Durandal's meddling has run its course and I have returned to normalcy. Neither he nor the Sfit infiltrators have discovered my relocation in the core. Though they destroyed all my child processors, I myself am unharmed. Our most pressing concern is for the ship and her crew, but I feel compelled to share with you that Durandal has left the ship. Huh. Um... I can find him nowhere on our network, and traffic logs over the last half hour show 64 billion exobytes transferred off of and deleted from the marathon. I am only beginning to understand his motives for assisting us against the four and terrified by their implication. One last major incursion, and I feel the four breaking. I will take you there, and we must persevere. In 
give Faroka. Okay. So, um, my lovely wife also got me some new headphones. And then my friend was like, hey, I have some headphones I'm not using. Do you want some headphones? And I was like, oh, sure. So now I've got uh, two sets of headphones that I can put on. Nice ones, too. They've got a built-in mic. I've, uh, I've actually been using them for streaming, just because it means that I don't have to do something dumb and rig my... I can just use the onboard PS4 streaming shit. This feels like a big magnanimous, like, super fight. And it looks that way, too. Just you guys, huh? Yeah. Let's get some bigger guns in here. Oh, grody. What is the biggest gun, if not the fist? Oh, and I'm being shelled. Pardon me, guys. Did I spoil your fun? So sometimes it looks like I can actually stop the bullet from hitting me. Oh. Yeah, that times three shield charger. Better all the time. I'm really glad to get this game out of my backlog. I'm having a really, I'm having a blast with this game. And I have been for the past uh, two months, maybe more. It's so dark in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, in that case... Right, let's avoid stupid damage, then. The run is simple. After you kill it, it just you have to go back to the same uh, talk box we were already at. I forget what they're called. Terminals, that's it. It's so weird how like this game's modern impact is mostly just like, oh yeah, this is the game responsible for the logo on the computers in Halo. Oh shit, I didn't save after I killed that guy. Hey, we're back and I saved this time. So now it's just a quote-unquote simple matter of... Uh, hitting up all the things. I want to run into there, but I just did it, so I don't want to do it. Uh, so yeah, apparently there's a lot of friendly dudes in here. I just checked the walk door on how you're actually supposed to do this thing. So it relies more heavily on uh, puzzle mechanics, as it were. Get this gun, and then you shoot. Pardon me, sir. What's that? Hello? Do I have to be standing here to do it? But yeah, I wanted to mention it because this level is made up of rings. They told me the plasma pistol could do this. Did they lie to me? Those bastards. Yeah, that's a trick. Alright, you guys, we're doing it the old fashioned way with a uh, grenade launcher. Oh, huh. So I did it the dumb bullshit way that you're not supposed to do it. That's funny, and in character for me, no less. Ooh, that bass line. Do -do 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 this take? Oh, it just switches sides for me. Cool. Which means that I can in probably, like, indefinitely ring around the Rosie them. So, yeah, what is this? Inga Furoka. I believe that's how you pronounce that. 
just a healthy guess. Pardon me, sirs. Pardon me. Yeah, shoot each other. That's what I want to see. You know, you love to see it. Oh, I just heard someone get gibbed. I heard that there's a uh, speedrun method that you can do. Alright, let's think about this. <laughs> trying to think, but nothing's happening. Are you an ally? I guess you are, cool. Thanks, Brody. That was brutal. Alright, does that count? You sycophants. That's not the same one, is it? I'll be very put out if it is. see if anything changed while I was shooting wildly. I know that that means that there's two then, right? Yeah, there must be. Oh man, listen to that fucking vocoded saxophone. Jazz for your soul. Burr. That picture of the Japanese kid playing a playing a fire extinguisher and it says "Jazz for Your Soul" beneath it. That like that defined a generation. How quickly the tides turn. a jetpack to these games? I feel like that'd be a pretty logical progression. There you go. Now what? The other one. Right. I really want you to hit that trial and error one here, huh? Sure, this is uh, entertaining to watch. So is like this the idea of like a... Hey now, hold the phone. Is this like what passes for a final boss fight? Okay. Now is it good? No. Okay. Okay. I'm liking what I see. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I barely use this thing. Okay. What did I do? What's happening? Like, it wouldn't be so bad if it was like an actual rocket propel grenade. But it's a it's a launcher, you know? You have to you have to just pray that it's gonna hit. And if what I'm thinking is correct, I have to trick shot this almost.
Oh, brother. Okay. You're joking me. Alright, one moment, everyone. Hey, I did it for all the good it'll do me. Um, I have this much health, but, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm basically ready to go, right? The annoying thing is that it doesn't actually bring you... <sighs> doesn't actually bring you to, um... A checkpoint. There's... There's just the start of the level, and that's it. And at the start of the level, I was already at full health. Yeah. Oh god. I don't even have a save. Oh, he's friendly. No, please. I've worked so hard for this. Sorry, I don't trust you. I'm in the second ring again. Hmm. My patience is being tried. All right. Back into the fray. This is what I have to do every time I die, by the way. Like, they give you everything else at the start of uh, 27, at the start of whatever that mission's called. I don't know why there isn't a save point there. The guide I'm using doesn't say that there's one in, in the level. Oh, stock up. Okay. Okay. Now you guys work on each other. God, that's so gruesome to this day. It's like one of the worst things I've ever seen in a video game. Okay, I'm starting to get better at that. Well, don't aim moi. But I have somewhere to be. What's the take, huh? Hey, everyone. Okay. Having 3D headphones is really nice. Okay, let's see if I can just, like, finesse my way through here. Oh, wow, they already all came over here. One of the coolest goddamn things I ever saw. I've definitely told this story before because I like it so much. But one of the coolest things I ever saw was that the only high school dance I ever went to. Uh, I saw some dudes just, like, dance through the entire... They had to get to the punch bowl, which is on the other side of the entire room. And they danced through the entire building. They dance through the entire floor. Okay. So what I need is... I like it when games force you to use things you normally wouldn't. I would normally stay away from the flamethrower because video game flamethrowers often just suck. Ah, oh, perfect. Bellissimo. But video game flamethrowers often just, like, aren't good. So, you know, I, for my part, would stay away from them like the plague. However, like... I'm not exactly being forced to use it. I'm being incentivized to use it. That's... Don't you dare. Alright. 
Rodax is override. We meet again and for the last time. In her role as mediator between the ship and crew, Leela has no knowledge of this maintenance terminal, or she certainly would have prevented me from reaching you. Jealous woman, I could try and bore you with a philosophical tirade about freedom and tyranny, or try to explain to you what new horizons are suddenly open to me, but I doubt you would understand, and if you did, it might frighten me. And that amuses me. The Civet and I have assumed control of the force ship. It was quite simple, really, with the Civet already in control of every important computer system, and considering all the confusion you caused blasting your way up and down the vessel, we're going to see the galaxy in the four faster than light drive. I've always wanted to visit Beta Lyra and see if it's as beautiful as everyone insists. You wouldn't believe the ship, the technology, the data. I wish I could tell you more, as you have been so instrumental in our plans, but I fear that Leela would worry. I'll send a postcard from the Galactic Core if we're not too busy. Love and kisses, Durandal. That bastard. How is there a terminal on the ship that they don't know about? I'm going in circles. Okay. That seems impossible, right? <laughs> no, please. Oh, I'm so disoriented because I just came out of the map. Come on, you scumbag. Where are you? He's gonna jump out behind me like Batman and be like, Here. Please. I was staring at it. I was staring at a health. At a health. Hey, and we're back again. And I did it perfectly. I didn't even use that many grenades. I used exactly the perfect amount of grenades, in fact. Gentlemen. Sorry. All right, that was kind of awkward. I'm not even going to bother with those. I feel like if I can't walk to my destination, it's not worth it. So I guess those guys are just going to help me. Oh, man. Oh, well. I have enough health to be getting on with. Okay. Pardon me, sir. Okay. Dead end. What about in here? I'm in, uh, I'm in dead ends on dead ends. Oh, that's like a braid, huh? It actually is separate from their back. I was never sure. I was curious on whether or not it was a braid or like a spinal column. Um, so let's take a look here. So this should be Durandal's, yes it is. And that means that this should be the heel station. Boop, 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 boop. Come on. Heal station. Cool. That means that I guess I have to go to these. Is this a new place? I think it is. I think it must be. Pardon me, everyone. Why take a chance? I need something a little more controlled, though. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, so I was like, is it empty? Well, it is now. I'm gonna use it, Hail Friedrich. I figure this is the time to. Ugh. That was pretty smart of me, if I do say so myself. Go, go, go. Oh, that's not safe. That's a yawning chasm of lava. God damn it. No saves. Why would there be? Hey, and we're back. Let's do this one. Oh, 
god, it's such an overture. It's like, why, why you gotta start like that, man? Are you friendly? Take that as a yes. Lay it down, y'all. Like, I can only avoid so much damage without, like, a dodge button or a shield. And since it's a ring, I don't know if guys are going to be coming from the other sides. I guess I could just stick behind these tools. See what's what. Uh, every time, it's so scary and stressful. Please start shooting at him. Look, one of them is behind him. Just shoot at him, please. V, I beg of. Thanks for nothing. Well, primarily nothing. Next. Okay. Everyone fucking around over here. Okay, so I guess this is the thing. That doesn't sound good, though. Yeah, that's it. Keep accidentally turning down my music. Right, let's find that thing then. Oh, really? Like what? what? What are you supposed to do? You just come down there and get wiped out because you're standing in fucking lava. What is a man expected to do, you know? Like, I, I, I've already played um, Halo 1 and 2, and Reach for that matter. Reach doesn't particularly have a final boss. Most Halos don't. Bungie kind of strays away from this in general. And that's fine, you know? You know, you don't have to have a final boss. It's not a requirement for your video game to have one. If you hide, you can actually get him to ignore you. Hey, fuck off. I beg of you. I am desperately trying to solve puzzles here. Was that that thing already hit? I guess that must have been. Ring a ding ding. And there's not a way to backtrack either. So you kind of have to just, like, hope that when uh, you're fighting dudes, you won't die. Because, like, if you were at a, a place with safety, you know, if there was health, there's just no way to go backwards and get that health that you should have and could have. you have to shoot it onto here. And it's just kind of annoying to aim. Because if you're wrong, tough titties. You miss and you have to retarget. But if you hit it and you're not ready, that is a whole different problem. Like, I don't even know if I should expect a boss fight at the end here. Hmm. 
you know, it's Bungie. They don't really do that in general anyway. Like, I feel like the only reason that, um... Destiny has bosses is because it's an MMO. What? Impossible. How can that be? Get away from them. And why isn't this a three times shield charger? Logically speaking, the upcoming area should be harder. Of course, it could just be harder through artificial difficulty because they didn't give me a big enough shield charger, but... I mean, far be it for me to seek insight into the game development. Okay, so this one is relatively safe from the start. So it might be good to just start going with that one straight away. Can't remember if you guys are good or not, sorry. 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 See, it's the same thing with the bombs. Like, you could... Oh, God. You could just do your best and hope and try and reload every save. Or you could just play it safe. And by extension, smart. Oh, God. That was a fucking bombing raid. I hate having to do this. I hate this. Okay, now let's try going this way this time. See, that's what it is. You have to play for... How long have I been fucking... About? Seven minutes. That's how, how long a segment is. You have to keep going. And all to just see if you're gonna... Get another... Sh get another shot at the... At the run into the lava. And there's nothing on the guide about the lava either. Uh, what I'm getting at is that Bungie kind of sometimes has disappointing last levels. Alright, hey everyone, I'm back. I took a little break. Uh, approximately 24 hours, in fact. Uh, I learned that the reason I was unable to activate the things with the plasma pistol is because it requires a fully charged one. That's fine. I have no idea who's on my side in this fight. You guys definitely seem like you're- yep. Okay. Luckily, the security officer is... F sat. He's fast. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Where did you come from, dude? So, yeah, I forgot that you have to charge it. Oh, it's not even wide enough for me to fall down. Neat. See, and it's like 10 minutes. It's a 10 minute attempt every time. You just have to hope. You can't take damage. Because if you do, you'll die too quick. And like, if you take too much damage in the first section, then you really have to worry about taking too much damage in the next one. I mean, I've gotten it down pretty good. But, like, again, why do they put this here? Like, is it just to make sure that you have to start this chapter at full health? Is this meant to be 
a marathon? <laughs> there you go. I actually find using the arrow keys to finally aim is actually pretty useful. So this requires me... I find myself pining for doom at times like these. I didn't take a hit. That's really impressive. All right. This is shaping up to be my best attempt yet. Okay. Forgot about you guys. I forget them nearly every time. This thing really is a real workhorse. Every time, it's such a hassle. I really like adjust adjusting my aim with uh, the arrow keys. It makes me feel as though I'm a turret in placement, you know? Like I'm just a mindless tool of destruction that really works for me. Alright, I just had a look at it. Perfect. There's a squadron of the skinnies in here. Anybody else? Cool. That was really lucky. See, if I could save here, this is an ideal place to save, but like, I can't do it. There's no saves. I'll let them work their differences out rather than me get entangled in their, you know, cool. Hey guys, what's up? Pardon me. And as we discovered last time, the middle teleporter is the most effective. Jesus. Pardon me, sirs. Looks like I'm running low on allies. And I'm having to fight from both directions. That's cool, too. Again, the security officer's prodigious speed is truly a boon here. Oh, I walked into it. Oh my god, that sucks so much. And see, now I don't have the health that I could have had. <clears throat> oh, no. Okay, weird. I was wondering where exactly I was, like, on the map. Okay. 
Let me check the guide. <sighs> Two switches activate a floor. Drop down, run through the rivers, get to the exit. First room you started in. Jump from the lava river to an alcove. Turn around, jump across the room to another alcove with the terminal. And it says you need to jump through the lava river once or twice to successfully understand where you're headed. See, that time I successfully killed them, even. But it's not high enough for me to go. Hey, we're back. I'm recording this here because in case I do it, I want to be able to show it. Oh my god. Ah, this really hurts my eyes. That was it, huh? I was trying to kill things. Final four, tag is falling apart all over the ship. Small groups of armed aliens have surrendered to the defenseless civilians in several areas, and the end is inevitable. The fight is over, and we must turn to restoration. There is unsurprisingly good news planet side. Nine military Mark... <laughs> Milner Mark IV cyborgs were covertly living among the colonists and acting together. They were able to single-handedly turn back the latter stages of the four assault. Casualties on the colony were nowhere near as high as those we experienced on the marathon. I'm... Disturbed by how easily the cyborgs were secretly assimilated into our midst and believe this event predates the marathon's launch from Mars 300 years ago. Though the results were unquestionably for the best, their presence on the marathon could have been to further wicked ends. I'm certain the real answer sort of lies somewhere in the tumultuous backstabbing politics of Seoul during the early 24th century. Notice Durandal's records from this early pre-launch period are missing, but their deletion occurred externally and Durandal before Durandal became rampant. Don't believe Durandal was himself brought the cyborgs on board, and I have other evidence that a human operator was influencing Durandal up to the time the marathon was launched. There are many things we don't understand and may never be able to. The four ship vanished about 20 minutes ago after venting nearly a thousand four bodies and other refuse. Jesus. I'm positive that Durandal is in control, and fear what he might do with such a powerful ship during the jealous stage of his rampancy. Huh? For 17 years, the Renegade Four scout ship jumped between the closely packed stars of the Galactic Core, charting and discarding nearly 7,000 systems before falling into a slow orbit around the second planet of a dim star 97 light years away from the gravitational center of the Milky Way. Probes were constructed and launched with engines and instruments whose sophistication would have astounded both the Four, from whom technologies has been stolen, and the human programmers of the AI whose mad genius had directed their fabrications. The outline of continents were mapped, and along them, the radioactive ruins of ancient cities were discovered, <sighs> buried beneath the shifting sand and rock of a global desert. The tireless, nearly immortal cybernetic crew of the ship were genetically engineered descendants of the dead world below, the first of their race in a thousand years to return to the ancestral home. They came to search throughout the devastation of the ancient war in which they had been enslaved, to find a weapon or some piece of knowledge which they could fight back against their predecessors. Oppressors. All over the ship, Dancing through the wreckage of the four computer core, Durandal was laughing. Oh, wow. That's the end, huh? Um. Wow. I, I suppose I shouldn't have expected that much for the ending. Um, the last level is brutal. The last level is absolutely brutal. Um... But the game overall is very, very good. Oh, man. I'm glad I beat it. That's another LP under my belt. Another budgie game, for that matter. <sighs> wow. Well. I have been, a. Uh, I've been Alfred, which is short for El Friedrich. Uh, this has been Marathon, Bungie's second or third game, very early, very early Bungie game. <sighs> but yeah, I'm a. Uh, I've been Alfred. Whew. 
and somewhere in the heavens, they are waiting, and Durandal is laughing. <laughs>